you have an old Mercedes and live in a high moisture environment, this is a sight you might see on your engine, particularly if it sits outside or it has sat outside for a long period of time. You start getting this, I call it fuzzy corrosion on the aluminum parts, particularly on the valve cover and often on the intake manifold, sometimes on the thermostat housing. And what I want to share with you in this video is a quick way to fix this to slow it down and literally stop it from happening. Obviously, if you're gonna leave your car out in the pouring rain month after month, you're going to have to redo this every two to three months. But we're gonna get our product out, our special anti-corrosion kit out and attack this 300 SD valve cover. And I'll show you the amazing difference it's going to make. The kit comes with a one ounce container of anti-corrosive gel and this large scotch Bright pad. Now you don't need to use the whole pad. What I recommend you do is maybe cut it into six to nine pieces, particularly if you're working on smaller areas. Once the pad loads up, you can throw it away and use another one. So you're going to actually use the anti-corrosive gel here as a cleaning agent and as a preservative agent. Using the scotch Bright pad to work the anti-corrosive gel into the aluminum and to remove the corrosion at the same time. Now you don't want to scrub very hard because you can leave scratches so we're just going to use a light circular motion like this and just keep rubbing. Of course the more time you spend with this the nicer looking job you can get. And I do have a video on my website which shows you how to clean severely discolored and corroded valve covers before you apply this technique here. I'm just lightly rubbing and you can begin to see now that the aluminum is coming back. All right, now we'll get a cloth And we're going to just wipe this down. Okay, now you can see this pitting right in here. If I can't get that pitting out with anacrosive gel, I'm going to use the other technique. But I think that for this video, for the purpose of this video, we're not going to shoot for perfection. We're going to shoot for protection to keep this from happening again. So I'm going to bring Sean in here. I'm going to let him do all the elbow <laughs> work. We're going to clean the oil and grease off the valve cover in the areas like right there before we do this. But we'll go ahead and do this to the whole valve cover and then come back and show you the end results. You can take this about as far as you want, but here we're, we're working on about 85 to 90 percent, okay? <laughs> and once we get that all cleaned up, we'll put a coat of anacrosive gel on the entire valve cover, rub it in with the red rag, or you can use a shop towel, and we'll kind of let that sit overnight, and then we'll come back tomorrow and buff it off so we've got a good layer of protection of the anacrosive gel that's going to stay on that valve cover. If you opt to purchase my kit, I'm going to put a link below the product description to the video that I have on cleaning severely discolored and corroded valve covers if you find yours is in really bad shape. Well, here you have it. 15 minutes later, talk about a beautiful cosmetic repair on an old Mercedes diesel. We got ugliness right here, folks. Really ugly. Look at that. Ugly, for sure.